acting in the, in the conventional sense of the word. He would come to the studio having not played the, the piece before uh, um, because he wanted the mental image to remain pure of the uh, distorted image that a tangible sound would, would bring about. Uh, for Glenn, music was a mental process, a cosa mentale. I really thank God that I'm able to sit in a studio with enormous concentration and enjoyment, doing things many times if necessary, and taking what is more important, a view of the work that I'm recording, which lets me in on the composing secrets of the work, really. There have been many occasions when I've recorded something and have come into this studio at 10 o'clock on a Monday morning and really been in 16, not just two different minds, but 16 different minds as to how it should go. Um, and this sense of option is, is really quite a marvelous luxury. It's a luxury that you cannot permit yourself in the concert hall. You simply cannot. You would be dead if you walked on stage not being quite certain. But in fact, what happens is that by, by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, having given it three hours of work, I may not have come to any definitive conclusions, but I will finally have selected one of these options and made it my priority and out of this created a viable performance.